What's up beautiful people, this is Khurram from MyGetsWall and hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the camera settings that I use for iPhone 14 Pro and also how to record the 4K HDR and the Dolby Vision videos using the iPhone 14 Pro and also you can do the same for the iPhone 13 Pro as well. So we're going to get into the video and I love this purple color iPhone 14 Pro. First I thought this color is not going to look good but when I got it, it has a beautiful shade of grey and the purple, there is some sorcery going on with the Apple and I have two of them because one I'm using to record this video and this video is going to be in 4k HDR so now without any delay let's get into the camera settings so as soon as you open the camera you're gonna have the location access uh, showing up whether you want to allow it or allow while using this app so I always leave it on allow while using the app so that app has the access for the location when I'm using it not all the time so let's say if I take the picture and I just go after taking the picture to the gallery and look at the information section for the picture. So click on that, you see my location right there at the bottom and I'm not gonna zoom in completely, not gonna show where exactly I live, but you get the idea, right? So that's how you're gonna have the location and when you go to vacation like New York, San Francisco, you're gonna have a nice, um, you know, you can organize those pictures and iPhone does it for you. So that's the one thing that right off the bat you see that. Now we're gonna go in the settings and we're gonna do some camera settings that I do it for myself and I find it really helpful. And then we're gonna get into more video settings. So first thing we're gonna do is go to the top where we see the format. So in the format section, we have the high efficiency and the most compatible. We're gonna leave it on high efficiency, otherwise you're gonna have codec issues. We're gonna turn on the Apple Pro RAW, which will give us the access to 48 megapixel camera. If you just got the phone and you open the camera app, you're not gonna have the 48 megapixel access. So make sure you enable the Apple RAW, which is the Apple Pro RAW. So as soon as you enable that, you have the 48 megapixel unlocked. Otherwise, you're using your phone as iPhone 13 Pro because you are limited to 12 megapixel. Then you have the Apple ProRes that is related to the video codec where you can record in the ProRes up to 30 FPS. You cannot record in the 60 FPS. Only in 1080p you can go up to 60, but most people record in 4K. That is limited to 60, 30 FPS maximum. Then I like to shoot in the film mode, so I go with 4K 24 FPS, which gives you that film feel. And enhanced stabilization is turned on, but I prefer to keep it off because if it is on, it is actually gonna zoom in and gonna give you that crop sensor feel. So I like to keep it off. Make sure to use a tripod or use a gimbal or you have a steady hand, so you can do that. Then we're gonna enable the HDR video. As soon as you do that, you're gonna be able to shoot in 4K HDR and also in the Dolby Vision. And uh, auto FPS, I'll leave it off because I don't want my FPS to switch between, you know, like uh, 60 FPS to 30 FPS just to have more in performance in the low light. I just don't want the frames to just jump around. Slow-mo, I prefer it at the 120 FPS. You get butter smooth, you know, slow motion. Then you have the cinematic recording. I prefer it to keep at 4K at 24 FPS. And you can see when you see the description, it records in that film style. So if you're recording that kind of, those kind of videos, keep it at 4K 24 FPS. Now the next thing we're gonna go in the preserve settings. This is really important. So when you enable these settings, let's say the camera mode and you're shooting the pictures. So when you go back to the camera, you're gonna be staying in that mode. And let's say if you are shooting the uh, video you're gonna be in the video. I like to have the creative controls It gives you more access to the stuff. So I keep that on More importantly, I don't want to miss out when I'm shooting the pro raw or the pro res So I enable these preserve settings too. So when I'm in the camera I'm not gonna miss out on recording the Apple pro res I hit the record button on the video and it's gonna be recording in the pro res and if I disable it It's gonna keep it disabled uh, while in the application. So I'm gonna show you how that works exactly so these are my specific settings that I do. You can use it too if you like to. I have this composition settings too. I always enable the grid so that I have the access to the grid and I can see if my video is straight or not. Then I have the mirror front camera because I want to see as I see myself in the mirror. So do that and view outside the frame. I don't want to see anything that is outside the frame. So I disable that. Then we have the macro control. If you enable it, you'll have the more control over the macro picture. Whenever you go closer to an object, it will give you the option to enable or disable the macro. 
Now let's go to the camera application and see and try testing out what we have done. So now you can see the RAW is showing at the top. That is because we enabled the Apple Pro RAW. So you can tap on it and you can take a picture in the RAW and just snap it. And then we're gonna go in the gallery and see what kind of picture it took for us. So we're gonna snap this picture and go to the gallery right there and click on it and we have the 48 megapixel that is what we unlocked if you did not do that the settings that i show you you're gonna be stuck at 12 megapixel maximum so and maybe lower than that because it only works with the 1x if you're trying to use it with the 2x and 3x let's see if we try here and this is for the preserve setting if you disable it and then close the application i'm gonna close the application and then go back to it you're gonna see the raw is disabled the similarly if it was on like this and if i go back and close this application and come back to the photo it's gonna keep it there retained for me and i'll be able to shoot in raw without enabling or disabling or tapping on it and missing out on my shot so let's say if i take a photo now and uh, go back to it even if it's a raw but i took it in 2x is going to give me that 12 megapixel so if you want to take full advantage of 48 megapixel you can only use it with the 1x 2x and 3x not going to give you full 48 megapixel so i took a picture in the 1x and you can see that it's in 48 megapixel all right now let's talk about the video settings for the 4k hdr that we have done now let's test it out so you can see that we are in the video and we have the prores enabled and we have the 4k 24 fps so when i'm shooting this in the 4k 24 fps and i have the prores enabled i have just shot the video i'm gonna go in the info section so let's go there and see what kind of video it has recorded so you can see that in the prores 4k hdr we have we don't have the dolby vision so if you're shooting the video in the prores you're not going to have the dolby vision now let's try it by disabling the prores and i'm going to shoot the video clip again um, you have the 4k up to 24 fps that's what you can shoot in the prores but in the prores disabled you can shoot up to 60 fps and uh, now we're gonna do one thing we have shot some clips in the 4k 24 fps prores disabled and we're gonna go back to the video that we just shot we're gonna go here it says hdr in the beginning for a bit because it takes time to identify so it's not in the prores and we have hevc dolby vision showing the other one we have the prores and it shows the hdr so we shot two clips one shows the prores and it shows hdr and one we shot by disabling the prores and it shows hevc high efficiency video codec and it's in the dolby vision so keep that in mind if you are going to be shooting the dolby vision videos make sure to keep the prores disabled now we're going to go in the cinematic mode and we're going to shoot the video in the 4k 24 fps so once you do that you're going to shoot a little clip that's what i'm doing right here and we're going to go in the info section similarly and see what kind of codec that we have there and similarly we're going to just go in the gallery and you can see that it shows cinematic but we're going to go in the info section to see what codec it has recorded it in and you can see it has hevc and then it takes a little bit to show that it is in dolby vision so you have cinematic video which records in the dolby vision and you have the uh, 4k prores which records in the hdr so it's up to you how you want to record it if you want to record in the hdr make sure to enable the prores you also have the setting for the aperture that you can adjust if you go lower aperture it is going to perform better in the low light you can increase it also it has to do with the depth so if you increase it you're going to have more shallow depth if you want to have a better better looking you know background you can go with the lower uh, aperture values it can go minimum of or i would say maximum of 2.0 which is f2 so that's all I have from this video guys. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I have a demo content right here at the end of the video. Make sure to enjoy that and I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.